In this video, we are going to discuss the causes, clinical signs, diagnostic tests, treatment, and prognosis of a condition known as protein-losing enteropathy. Protein-losing enteropathy, or PLE for short, can affect both dogs and cats. This video is a collaboration between Veterinary Channel and Bremen Animal Hospital. Protein-losing enteropathy is a term used to describe a condition of the gastrointestinal tract that causes the protein to be lost in the feces. When excessive amounts of protein are lost from the gastrointestinal tract, nutrient and caloric intake is inadequate and weight loss occurs. Loss of protein from the body can develop with a variety of diseases, many of which must be ruled out before reaching a definitive diagnosis of protein-losing enteropathy. Protein loss can occur with inflammation in the intestines, such as inflammatory bowel disease and certain infections like viral, fungal, or bacterial. Protein may also be lost with bleeding into the intestinal tract from ulcers or tumors. Intestinal parasites, like for example hookworms, whipworms, or giardia, can also be the culprit of this condition in dogs. Most significant and severe protein loss can occur with abnormalities in the vessels that remove lymph from the intestines. This condition is known as lymphangiectasia. Protein loss can also be due to partial obstruction to the small intestines and with some forms of neoplasia. Certain breeds are at higher risk for the development of protein-losing enteropathy from lymphangiectasia, which implies that this condition may be a genetic disorder in some dogs. The most affected breeds seem to be the Yorkshire Terrier, the Maltese, and the Norwegian Lundehund. Other breeds at risk of developing protein-losing enteropathy are the Wheaton Terrier, Silky Terrier, and the Rottweiler. The clinical signs of protein-losing enteropathy are often vague. An initial suspicion may not arise until preliminary diagnostic tests have been performed. Usually, dogs suffering from this condition show signs of gastrointestinal diseases such as diarrhea, vomiting, and anorexia. Dogs with a more severe form of this condition may develop edema of the limbs and skin, difficulty breathing from fluid accumulation in the thoracic cavity, and abdominal distension due to ascites. Weight loss is common. Protein-losing enteropathy is often first suspected when the biochemical profile indicates that the total protein and or albumin are low. In severe cases, globulin is also low, and other blood abnormalities may be detected. If the biochemical profile shows evidence of low proteins, then several fecal tests may be recommended to look for the presence of intestinal parasites or bleeding of the gastrointestinal tract. Protein loss from other sites of the body must also be ruled out through tests such as urinalysis and urine protein creatine ratio to determine if the kidneys are the source of protein loss. Other diagnostic tests that are useful in the diagnosis of this condition are radiographs of the thorax and abdomen, abdominal ultrasound, and liver function tests. If the liver is working properly, no protein loss is found in the urine and no abnormalities are detected in the thorax or abdomen, then the most likely cause of low proteins in the blood is protein-losing enteropathy. In surgical cases, your veterinarian may recommend tests to assess the blood's ability to coagulate because the proteins that control blood coagulation tend to be lost with albumin. Any fluid retrieved from the abdominal cavity or thorax may be sent for laboratory analysis. Some forms of protein-losing enteropathy, particularly those involving lymphangiectasia, are best diagnosed with intestinal biopsies. The main treatment of protein-losing enteropathy is to feed an extremely low-fat diet. Fat in the diet is absorbed through the lymph vessels in the gut, so feeding a low-fat diet decreases the amount of lymph that is made by the body. In other causes of protein-losing enteropathy, such as inflammatory bowel disease, intestinal tumors, intestinal obstructions, or parasites are found, treatment is directed toward the primary cause of the disease. If fluids is present in the abdomen or thoracic cavity, diuretics are often given to help remove the fluid. Large volumes of fluid are sometimes drained from the thoracic cavity or abdomen with a needle or a catheter. Dogs with abnormal blood clotting may be given medications to help reduce the risk of blood clots in large blood vessels, a condition known as thrombosis. Plasma transfusions may be used in some cases to replace blood clotting proteins. Follow-up visits and repeat diagnostics are usually needed, with their frequency depending on the severity of the protein loss and the presence of complications, such as ascites or blood clotting problems. The prognosis for dogs suffering from protein-losing enteropathy is variable. 
If a cause can be identified that is treatable and potentially curable, the prognosis is good. Examples include intestinal parotism, certain gastrointestinal infections, and inflammatory bowel disease. Dogs with intestinal neoplasia or lymphangiectasia have a guarded to poor prognosis. Many dogs with persistent protein-losing enteropathy eventually die from complications such as thrombosis or severe ascites. For more information about this condition, please visit Bremen Animal Hospital. We are located at 805 Alabama Avenue South in the city of Bremen, Georgia. Our phone number is 770-537-2357.